Now in the second part of this uh, extent report version 2, we're going to uh, generate the extent reports with the help of some uh, listeners that I have created. So what I'm going to do, uh, let me close all these and uh, let's let me take uh, those listeners from my project. So I'm going to add uh, this package uh, to the project over here. Basically, uh, this package contains an extent manager file and extent listeners uh, class. I mean, these are the two classes. Uh, what I did, uh, what all configuration that uh, we did over here, like uh, configuring the ex uh, extent HTML reporter and providing all these uh, configuration over here. So instead of doing it over here, I have actually done everything inside uh, one single class named as uh, extent manager, right? And I, I have actually generated uh, like if you go over here, I mean, uh, this is uh, the create instance, which will actually gonna uh, generate your extent report provided uh, what file name that you are going to provide over here, right? So whenever you are creating uh, extent report, you just need to uh, create an object of this extent manager and it will ask you for the file name, right? And the same information is provided over here. Right, and then you can see there, there is a method in this extent manager. This is for capturing the screenshot. This method is uh, specific to Selenium only, right? So if in case you are uh, Selenium or uh, in case you are uh, working on Appium where you have screens, where you can capture screenshots, then you can enable this stuff. Otherwise for rest assured API and for other uh, Java projects where you are not dealing with any screens, or UI, you can simply uh, make a use of this create instance uh, in order to generate the extent report, right? This is the same code that uh, we have already seen it over here in before test, right? But we'll not be calling it directly. So how the things will be done, you just need to keep uh, these two uh, classes, right, in any package, like I've created a package name extent listeners, and I've kept these two classes over here. Now there is a class which is a listener class which is actually implementing i test listener of test ng right so this i test listener uh, as soon as you implement it you need to overwrite some uh, methods uh, from this uh, interface uh, i test listener interface basically so the methods uh, are like on test start on test success on failure so these are the listener methods in case you have already uh, gone through the test ng lectures you must be familiar with what are test ng listeners so that that is what i did uh, over here first i'm getting the uh, like instance of uh, uh, the extent report i'm passing on the file name and file name i'm generating it uh, dynamically right with the help of uh, date class the file name will be generated something like extend underscore and the current uh, timestamp dot html so that will gonna have current date month year time minute second so every uh, on each run this will gonna create a unique uh, extent report all the time right and then uh, this is another important thing this uh, you want to uh, like you can even skip this but i would recommend you to use this uh, thread local instance i mean this thread local class this is uh, majorly used whenever you want to uh, whenever you are doing parallel testing right at times it may happen the the results are not appropriate appropriate so you want that for each test the execution should be on a different thread right so this is what uh, thread local is all about so uh, we are actually generating uh, extent reports with a unique thread all the time that is why i have given this extent test uh, class over here the type uh, this is basically a generic type uh, for this class so every time uh, like the test case should run should be on a unique thread so that is what is the purpose of this thread local over here, right? Then uh, in on test start. So if you look over here, uh, initially 
before test we did all this configuration right so and on test start we are actually creating a test if you look over here there's the same thing we are doing over here on test start extent dot create test so it is actually creating the test and the test name as well we are actually uh, getting it with the help of this result method so i test result itself so result dot get class dot get name right and uh, we are integrating some other stuff as well so this is our test and then getting the method name as well so it will gonna get the test class name as well as the test method name right and then it will gonna set the test with that particular test name right so this is before every test start this thing will gonna generate a test step for you right then on test success means on pass on failure means on failure whenever test fail on skip so these are the same code that we have seen in our add the rate after method so instead of adding it in if and else condition we can give it inside the listeners like this right and once the test is finished it should do extent dot flush right so once uh, a test is finished you can see in add the rate after test we have written extent dot flush so this is we have achieved with the help of listeners so when you have these two listener files you need not to worry about anything just keep it uh, i'm just going to close it just keep it over here right don't worry about uh, this is just one time effort right once we have written this code we need not to worry about anything all the reporting part the pass fail will be managed on it on its own right this is just one time effort now your task is just just to create a test case so maybe i'll i'll going to create one more test class name it as test case 2 right and we're going to add uh, the same three tests that we added over here so first for login then user registration then escape so i'm just going to copy this and paste it over here and remove the extend part we need not to add it now that's it so these are the three simple tests and now what we're going to do we'll create a test ng xml file we'll say right click test ng convert to test ng test ng xml file and for the time being i'm just going to remove this test case one right and before that we simply need to add a listener tag because we are defining uh, listeners right so there should be a listener tag and listener with the listener class name we'll say class name equal to this and the class name is this so first package dot class that's it you just need to include these listeners and close this close this and run your test in the xml file so your listeners will gonna do everything. Let's see. See, total three tests, one failure, one skip. Now if you uh, just look at this reports folder, if we refresh it, see we have a unique extent report generated with the current day, month, and the date, and the time, and the seconds, uh, minutes, and the seconds, and the year, right? so if you open this and this is a new test ng report and you can see your package name your class name and your test case name your package name your class name your test case name right so everything is being added in detail in this report right so this is what your extent report 
with the help of these listeners. So now this will make your life very easy. Just add this, this listener package to any of your automation project and start creating test cases. Everything will be managed on its own, right? So I'll be sharing you uh, both the code. Just try implementing it step by step, right? To get yourself comfortable with extent report first. And then you can make a use of these listeners and create the interactive extent report with the latest version that is uh, four at the moment. All right. So thanks a lot.